Guys, welcome back. We are officially getting started. This is episode 74 of Adventures of the Black Nerds. And did you guys see how I kicked it up in the like second gear and put on my, my radio voice? Yeah. Now we're sitting here going live. <laughs> and now we're sitting here talking about video games. And yeah, welcome. Um, but no, so uh, real talk. The Today with Adventures of the Black Nerds on episode 74... Um, consistency is key as usual. Uh, sorry we missed last key. week. Uh, nah, we're that, not going, you know, we, we got cussed out by our fans. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to uh, S Mac, aka my uncle. My man said, I thought consistency was key. <laughs> I felt a little yeah, disrespected, yeah. man. I, I felt a little disrespected, bro. <laughs> but just a little, you know, just a little bit. Hey, bro, sidebar, do you have your, uh, your broadcast audio on, your NVIDIA broadcast audio on? I do. Kill it, kill the noise uh, dampener because when your uh, your audio fluctuates, it kicks you. Okay, you okay. get squeaky. I, I turn it off during podcasts because I talk way too like my oh, fluctuations no, 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 no. way I'm, too high. I'm not using that. I don't have that. It doesn't work for me. Okay, cool. Then we'll keep moving. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, look, guys, today did, did my is audio something change a little different now. Or is it, yeah, am I it, still it's, good? Uh, you sound a little. You sound. Yeah, you're still good. It's just when you when your your levels crank, it kind of sounds like you you squeak out. Yeah, like and I know you're not squeaking, so but I, I think it's your mic trying to clean you I'm up. I'm gonna just stay like this. Um, but like one tone, so, one tone all day. Right, every mm-hmm. day. Monotone. We just that's, gotta keep it here. How we gonna and play? and that's just me hearing you. So who knows what they hear? So for you, yeah. it's probably something different. Mm-hmm. It's probably all good. Yeah, Let right. us know in the comments if we're having audio issues because we're live. But now moving on. So uh, I'm Baron J67, the RPG gamer. Uh, I work with Level One Gaming, a right over there, and also communications director. I do all type of craziness, and we have over here Mister One Half, the other part of Adventures of the Black Nerds. I'm just T Jones. That's it. I ain't got no titles. I just live here. That's it. He's. <laughs> 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 He's, he's like, actually, that's the silent assassin. You know, he he game under different handles. Okay, thank you, Tone. I Ninja. just wanted to make sure. Um, uh-huh. uh, but he game under different handles. He be out here uh, creating content under different handles. I know what's going on. Mm-hmm. He like to act like he ain't doing nothing, but it, it's 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 a fallacy. It's false. false. It's not real. I I know what's going on. Look at you, segue. So with the right. So look. So with the title, I know it seems pretty clickbaity. Um, but the re- reason I bring this up is because a lot of people like, and mainly it's because I'm in the gaming community circle and the uh, the new the gaming media circle. I've noticed that it's been brought to my attention, and I'm starting to see it more that a lot of people talk about gaming, not necessarily play games. Mm-hmm. And I know for me, a big part of that was I got caught up in the cycle of reviewing, in the cycle of writing articles. And then during my downtime, my gaming was games that didn't take much, um, that didn't take much mental space. Yeah. So I'm playing Call of Duty. I'm playing Destiny. I'm playing Disgaea, even though that's a hardcore RPG. But that game is the sole purpose, like the true purpose of that game is the grind. So for me, it's turning my brain off and just leveling up my items, leveling up my characters. Yeah. Grind, grind, grind. But I didn't realize that I literally missed almost a whole two years worth of big release titles. Like, and that's and that's not normal for I me. think we're gonna have two different two different reasons. Uh in in like I'm talking about when you look at the spectrum, you're gonna probably be on the way right, and I'm probably gonna be on the way left. Because th- obviously there's multiple reasons why a lot of people miss out on these type of games, whether it's because you, you just, your backlog, that's a big thing that both of us yeah. have. But, yeah. you know, yeah. us missing out, on, or you missing out on two years worth of video games, I know I miss more than that. And it's because I have put, like, like I've turned the Destiny into a job, right? And it's not... Ah, got you. And I, I do enjoy... So the games I'm playing right now, right? I have not played Destiny in two weeks. The new season starts next week. Oh, God. Right? I haven't played in two weeks. I've been playing Pokemon. That's it. Pokemon. Catch a Pokemon. That's it. 
I ain't doing nothing else. Don't call me and don't at me. I don't want to hear it. But the um the issue that I'm ha- the issue oh, one. the issue that I have is that I don't I got like this this for the past two years I've had like this employee relationship with Destiny where FOMO kicks in. I don't want to miss out on nothing. And when you're playing a game like that, that's that's week by week by week. You don't want to miss out on the latest and greatest. And that's a big thing. I know for me. So I'm not, I'm kind of intrigued to hear what you're going to say because I know you don't really play video games like that. You can walk away from a video game. with In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, yeah. So I don't know, girl. I just... I, I'm I'm kind of mad that I because I the last video game that I actually played, ran through, did the story was Grand Theft Auto V, right? Uh, or no, no, I t- I'm sorry, I take that back. It was God of War? I played God of War, and it literally was I beat God of War, took it out of my PlayStation and put Destiny right back in. Like I didn't give it okay. a break and or nothing. So. I- so I'm sorry to cut you off. So Tone Tone just said he was like that was him with Destiny and he had to take a break for his own health. Mm-hmm. Like real talk, man. Like it, it's it's a trip how you get so stuck into these one games. And I didn't realize so much of my gaming was ate up by these type of daily law game type games. Mm-hmm. Now for me, it was it was a lot of uh mindless fun because it was an escape. It was like, you know, let's just turn it on. Let's run some Warzone. Yeah. Let's run some. Uh, let's run some co-op. I mean, some uh, some multiplayer. I never even ran the campaign. Destiny. Um, Destiny for me. I realized very quickly that if you're not religiously active on there, you'll get left behind. Destiny does a very good job of letting people who haven't been on in a while get up to a point to where you feel like you matter. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to disrespect Bungie like that. Like, they do a very good job of that. Like, I can hop on now, and by the end of the week, I feel like I can compete and run with everybody else. Now, will I have all the weapons or whatnot? No. No. But the opportunity to get those weapons will be presented to me in a very fair manner. Or something. Um, And it rewards those who log in every day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, So we will say that. um, We're not trying to have a whole Destiny stream. But, uh, But my point is... We like what birth brought this on, and I was uh watching another podcast. Shout out to Gold Chain Gamers, much love to those guys, Sincere and Jet. Um, solid dudes. Um, they brought up the whole thing of how people are crapping on the medium, and it's so uh, the medium just released on Xbox. Uh, I've never played Destiny One, I got you, but see, hey, I know Juan be running the uh, the, the big yearly three, uh, uh, Madden 2K and COD. You be running the big three, don't you? Hey, listen, that's like a, that's a religion right there. Yeah, that's a religion. <laughs> that is the re- Trinity. Li- like, man, <laughs> that is re- those, those three is religion, and 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 people stick to it. Those are their games. So you know, just like how I can say I'm gonna, I know whether I play it or not, I'm gonna buy anything Destiny. Right? I'm I'm already that much invested, uh, and but I but I do enjoy the game. Let's not get it twisted. And there's nothing, and just to to elaborate, there is not a problem with this type of gaming. There isn't a problem with it. You know, I don't have a problem with it at all. Now, let me tell you, my only beef with the with this the this group of gamers is they're the reason why the seventy dollar thing is okay because in because the average consumer, not calling you an average consumer, but you are an average consumer in the gaming. Of course, scene. yes. Uh-huh. You guys, a ten dollar increase is not that bad for you because you're only gonna buy three games this year. Yes. So for you, it ain't that bad. But the, but the problem is, I buy damn near two games a month. So this, on the low. But also, so that but you do have that that middle ground too, where there are people like me, and and maybe Tone can agree because I know I'm I'm guilty of this. I play Destiny so much. But I enjoy so many other games. Sorry, I just hit my mic. That I'm gonna buy these games. I may not never touch them. <laughs> I may not never yeah. break them out of their package. But I'm gonna buy them though. I'm gonna get them. And it this was the first last year and this year will be the the first and the second year that I kind of slow back from that. Like if I buy a game, I'm going to play it. Or FOMO, because FOMO is real, and I'm a few. I'm a believer in it. 
FOMO's FOMO is very real. We did a whole episode about it. I want to say about maybe 10, 15 episodes ago. That's crazy to say. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> we we did a whole episode about FOMO and missing out. And for those who don't know, FOMO means fear of missing out. Yep. And no games like uh, with battle passes and games with expiring content, such as your Destinies, your Call of Duties, um, even events like within 2K and this and that. Um, yeah, bro, real talk, Tone. Tone, oh, 2K is religion. Brian, you right. And Tone just said he has 10 games. He's never got past so, the tutorial. So me and, and Tone, that's why uh, that's why I started off. Oh, no, go I was going to say me and Tone is literally right. The, 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 like the destiny gamer, because this is, yeah, I can, are, I can, anybody that plays destiny the way we play destiny or play it to this day will probably agree with that statement right there. Cause I have more games that I've purchased that I've never even cracked out of the case because I got to play destiny. Like, Oh shit, it's Tuesday. It's the reset. I need to go see what I got to buy. Oh, snaps. They're taking crucible tokens. I got to go spend my crucible tokens. Like these are big things. What does Zer have this week? Mm -hmm. Exactly. What I got. I right. can't miss Zer. You, know? you can't miss Zer. Like I gotta have enough to get to Zer. Exactly. Hey, no, real talk. And so, so wrapping this back into, do people even play games anymore? I think the, and I've said this. Funny enough, I've made this complaint years ago mm -hmm. that GTA, the the I knew GTA you were Five get, system, get into this. Yeah, the GTA Five system has really brought over the whole, um, that whole PC style of. MMO style of gaming to the console world. Yeah. Where, and it's easy to blame GTA 5, but there was other games before that. But GTA 5 is such a huge focal point that people will literally buy a next-gen console just to run GTA 5. People will buy a high-end PC just to play Fortnite. Yes. People will, like, and wow, Fortnite and wow. Like, mm -hmm. people will buy a $1,900 PC just to play wow. Like, it, it, it's it's crazy. So and saying and just like how all these people bought these new consoles to simply play Madden, two K, play nothing, FIFA, <laughs> and Duty. Exactly. That's why, and I I know plenty of people who wait in line just to buy these new consoles to play that game. Now, mm -hmm. is that a bad thing? No, not at all. Because gaming is gaming. Once again, but I will say that FOMO. you guys are out here screwing up the market for the hardcore gamers. FOMO played a huge part in that. Let's 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 not forget that. Yeah, it played it played a huge. I've part just been that. telling tone. Right. Once that Richard said, well, I was just telling Tone that I have a few games that I play at the same time. None of the big three, though. Um, hey, hey, no. OK, so for me and I've told the story a million and a half times, I stopped buying yearly 2K. I love 2K. Funny enough, my my full like gaming name is Baron J67 RPG Gamer. I absolutely love NBA 2K and FIFA because I turn those into sports RPG experiences. I do not play online. I do not play normal uh, single player. It's a, always career mode, and I run them like RPGs. Like, like, oh, hey, don't feel attacked, Lon. Just know you out here ruining it for everybody. Um, <laughs> like, because you guys, you guys really went out, stood in line, bought the PS Five just to sit at home and in the Xbox Series X, bought them all up just, just to, to play there. games that. And play roster updates. Y'all did that. <laughs> and then 2K was the first game to come out for $70. And then they had the nerve to put Kobe on it. And everybody paid for it. Shame on you. But no, nope. Yes. And, Shame and on there, you. there will not be a change in that. I'm already calling it. People aren't. Ga gamers are the most. If you're a gamer, you're the most like forgiving person on the planet. On the, on the planet when it comes to developers yeah. and the, the 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 financial economy within the space like oh yeah you know and i'm i'm guilty of it too i'm guilty and i'm pretty sure you can find a way where you're guilty of it as well but we are the we're like uh listen man i don't want to pay this i don't want to better <laughs> huh what happened yeah the sweat physics yeah bro what happened like it's all good he said, uh, Juan said the graphics look better. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's out of pocket. Now, now, what I will say, though, is te the technology increase with the new consoles in terms of loading time, worth it. 
Also, also Worthy. The, the increase in uh, frame rate on some of those games looks superb. And I'm, so yeah. once again, we haven't even broken any super threshold with it yet. Like, you going to play the big three. That's it. You, what what else is you going to play? Like, that is it. They haven't announced yeah. anything. And I don't know. Once, like I said, we are the most forgiving. We will complain till hell or high water, but we'll still go buy it, though. I'm still gonna go buy it. Though. Still buy, it. but me, I, I look. I stand when I say this. I mean this shit. I mean this at my core. I <laughs> do not it. buy. Look who, who. I just bought Ghost of Tsushima for Christmas. Hey, go get on your soapbox. Go get. Just bought it. Stand up on it. <laughs> just bought it. I look at these people with shame and disdain. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, for, for, hey, no, because. Bro, no. I take this shit to heart when I say it. I Real it, talk, like it's important, but it's important. We like, but you've only started to make the stand the past what, like, let's just say five years, and yeah, not no, no shot to you either, no shot no. to you either. But this is this is a we we talk about Grand Theft Auto like it's nothing. Grand Theft Auto, five years, <laughs> five or no, three a console ten, ten years, three a decade. console generations, a decade, three console generations, people. My God, put down Grand Theft Auto Five. But, I don't give a shit how fun it is. Put see, it down. See, no, the you game can't, has been you released. Can't, on the, you can't put say it down. that. Revolution. <laughs> you can't Revolution. say that. You can't say put, that. Put it down. You can't say that because we we were talking about something off, uh, you know, pre-show. Yeah, this is something different. I just that's just my hate for the success of Grand Theft Auto Five. <laughs> he said, "I don't want you to be successful." <laughs> Listen, we, no. We, once again, it's Gra- scary. Grand Theft Auto created something. They created something that has never been done before in the realm of PC or console gaming, and what and it's on PC as well. But that's normal. That type of stuff is normal over there. For me, I'm happy people are happy playing it. I am happy. And people David st- said, "What up, Trav? Oh, what up, BD? What up?" Oh yeah, okay. So I can see the chat now. So I, I got the chat. I got the chat as well. Okay, got you. I just so, wanted to let you know because I, I figured you didn't see it. Yeah, I was like, no. Damn, he called him out and didn't say nothing. My bad. We see my you, bad. David. We see you. Hey, but hey, but no, but real, real talk though, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I know I, I say a lot about GTA and um and Destiny. It's just so funny to me that a lot of the same WoW structure has heavily made it in its way into console gaming, and so now. This is why when people say, why don't you just buy a PC? Now, outside of the, because PCs are expensive. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody says it like it's lighthearted. Like, oh, just buy a PC. No, a decent PC that's worthwhile to do what you want to do is still a higher price point than buying a console. Yeah. Don't play yourself. But uh, like, and, also, and also complexity as well. You know, when it, it's easier to plug and play a console, you know, it is... And I, it, difficult yep. as hell to get on there to download it to figure out which drive it's downloaded to to you know all of this make sure your inputs is right all of that type of stuff so oh you look at to, brian oh yeah he about to light them up so so brian said <laughs> fomo made me pay 700 dollars for the xbox to only play 2k and x in apex yeah see i hate you <laughs> You make me sick. You make Richard me sick. said, Richard said, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> man, <laughs> man, they know what they, so, they know what they're doing. And I think some people just need to, to take a step back because people, I mean, you can play 2K and Apex on, con- on PC. Go buy yourself a PC. Cool. Yeah, because I'm going to be real. Like the PC I just bought, um, well, I bought it middle of last year. I think I spent like twelve hundred on it, thirteen after taxes and all, and insurance and all that stuff. Because I'm not about to be tearing apart PCs. I'm not no. there yet. Like, uh-huh. I, yeah, no. All that. Oh, just build it. Look, first and foremost, I ain't got just four hundred dollars for one piece. Yeah, like and, I ain't and got, I got all that. Four hundred dollars to risk on nothing. It better yeah, work like, when I'm, I buy it, <laughs> bro. And then I'm big, so and I'm already stressful, and I got lights on me, so I'm hot and I'm I'm stressing. <laughs> and imagine I sweat and kill my motherboard. I'm blow up the no, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's like over. It, it just it's over. You, you'll never no. It'll be all. Yeah. It'll be a long time. I'm at, I'm low key going to be balling before I start building PCs. Like oh shit, messed up on my motherboard. Now, Let's go I, get another one. I'm, for like, me, I think for me, I would have to buy something that's like old and work with it. Ah, uh, like and work and on work it. Up, you know what I'm saying? That's fair. Because that's I, fair. I mean, hey, listen, even I 
I'm I'm 30 and I plugged in my first uh RAM stick. RAM? Hey, did you think you was gonna break it? I thought it was over. I thought everything <laughs> I thought it was over. I thought life at that moment, this thirteen hundred dollar this thirteen hundred dollar laptop, I thought it was over. I was so ready to just flip everything, flip the desk, kick the dog. <laughs> I was I was so about to be angry at the world. But then, you know, you like I but everything is still at our fingertips. We have YouTube, we have the internet, yep. Google. And, and it's just nothing is guaranteed in an environment like that when you're not when you're not confident in what you're doing. So, I put in another 16 RAM into my my brand new PC. Mm-hmm. So imagine when I go on. So I had to slide one past my um, one of my fans. Oh no! Oh no! Then I had, and I didn't know that it was a clamp on both sides. Nah. And I didn't know. Thank God I had the common sense that because once again I don't read directions. You know me. I, mm. I'm not reading directions. So thank God I had the common sense. Like, hey, maybe I should not unplug something while it's on. So let me turn everything off before I make any adjustments. Because yeah. come to find out, if I would have pulled them out as it was on, I would have fried everything. Uh, and yeah, thank God that. that like, I had some general, like, just like, usually I'm plugging something while it's on is usually yeah. not a safe thing. Of course. So let's turn everything off, then and unplug. Then just common sense saved the day. Um, But Dang. no, but... The, th- the reason I bring it up is because they said, they're like, look, if you've never plugged in RAM before, because the RAM wasn't being read, they were like, if you've never plugged it in before, you need to know you really have to push it in. It's going to give you a hard click. It's mm-hmm. going to be a thud. Yeah. And then that's when you know it's in. And I was like, oh, because I'm not about to be slamming nothing into this damn computer. No. And when I pressed it and I felt the click that was needed, if I wouldn't have read that that was the click that had to happen, I would have thought I would have broke my you shit. Thought, exactly. Like, once again, it was like snap. It was like, donk. You're and then not, it snaps. And you're, like, not oh. versed, you're not versed with it. That's why. You know, if, if you've had, if you've practiced it a few times, if you've done it before, that makes then it will make sense. For me, I don't know, bro. I cannot. Like, I'm just not comfortable doing stuff like that. That or doing things I have never done before, or I've never Thank seen you, done before. So yeah. 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 Like I'm and then when it comes to something that's super expensive in terms of that, where I, I like I don't just have another four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars sitting around for another graphics card. Mm-hmm. Like I, I really don't. So knowing that I'm not about to be sitting here playing or another six so much for my motherboard. Like I'm yeah. not about to be sitting here plugging things together and oh I'm gonna just put in a new processor. Mm-hmm. Like nah, bro, no, no, no. no. Especially when I'm all about buying pre built or like I, I just I'm not comfortable enough. Yeah, like like I said. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna start off with something that I know. I if I if I lose it, I'm gonna be I'm gonna still be fine. You know, I'll work back up to it. But that part, right out the box, nah, I'm not buying no Lego nah. kit, and putting it together myself or piece by piece. Like I'm not, I'm just not that comfortable yet. So once, so I, we've had yeah. this conversation before, and I think Microsoft is kind of the closest to it. But if these consoles start coming out to where you can upgrade parts into them do, don't do you think that they'll just be irrelevant or do you think they will still have a, a place well, in the market th- this is what's the downside of the playstation 5 from what i understand at this point in time if you wanted to expand your memory which i don't think they have a formal expansion available mm-hmm. you have to open it up yeah like yeah. it's not a it's to to add to the ssd you you have to open that bad boy up and get to a part and then that's where you expand it. Okay. That which is which is slowly leading, and then you have the new Xbox where you're literally taking an SSD, um, and plugging it in. Uh, funny enough, I bought an SSD for the new Xbox. Yay. Because it was so cheap. Like, go around, folks. If you guys see a GameStop closing, go in there and go buy. And you got an Xbox Series X, go in there and go buy you the SSD because it's on sale. Mm-hmm. Like I had a I had a GameStop closing next to me. And it was like thirty percent off. Isn't so I got the SSD one you, terabyte. Isn't that ironic? You bring that up, especially with the GameStop stock thing that happened. Yeah, that's funny. That's ironic, I literally yeah. had a GameStop close, and then it, yeah, that's funny as hell. Man. Like we had one go out of business. It was because it was in a it was down the street from a college, mm-hmm. and of course nobody's on campus. So a lot of the businesses in that shopping center are going down. Of course, or um, they're yeah, like it, you know, because we just know because of the panoramic. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but it, it's so 
Yeah, the panoramic. But no, but rolling this back into do people even play games? Um, the medium that just came out. Um, I haven't played it. I haven't installed, or I believe I installed it on my PC. Um, and I'm thinking about running it, and I was gonna run it until I found out that it's old school. Um, it's old school uh, still camera moving around the area. Alan Wake, re- old school Resident Evil style. Ah. Once I realized that, I was like, I'm good. You need to no, experience. Now that. I have no- nev- but you've never experienced that. No, I don't. You? you need to experience that. For you a need reason. to experience that. Because For a reason. You're a gamer. If I wanted to play Ga- battle, if I gamers wanted to play game. uh, uh, tanks. Gamers just game. I wanted to play tanks. You said I, I, you tanks. said I beat games all 2021. 20, beat the medium. You bought it. Yeah. You bought it. You don't uh, waste your money. You, ah, <laughs> you bought it. Ah, I didn't buy it. I signed up for Game Pass. Uh, okay, leading into our next topic. And that leads into look that at you, whole yo, thing you killing of, it today. <laughs> yeah, hey, bro, I'm telling you, my segues is nasty, man. But so. So I still kind of want to stick with do people play games? Okay. Um, a lot of people in the gaming space, because it's so funny. It's this weird situation where because a lot of people in the gaming news industry, they all follow each other. So it's an echo chamber. Yeah. So you think everybody hates something mm-hmm. or everybody loves something. Not realize or everybody does something a certain way. Not realizing you're just in this bubble of a universe and you need to step out and look at everything else. Okay. Because the casual, like, like the casual gamers, they may actually play the medium. Okay. But the problem is they won't finish it or even give it a chance. The other part of them won't give it a chance or try it or finish it because you got people who they trust in the industry talking so ill on it. This is why Metacritic, all of these things, I don't. So, okay, I'm going so, off on a tangent. Yeah, so I was about to reel you back in. So, do you think just answer, yeah. so answer the question? Do you think that people still play video games? I don't think so. I, I think people. I would say play, to an like, extent as well. I think people like, yeah, I like. Okay, funny enough, because I, I um, would I would say I want to say. I would say that the average gamer that you're talking about that and when I say the average gamer brief little description on it person that works 40 hours a week can only play a maximum two to three hours a day um, mm-hmm. you know pick it up put it down pretty much type of gamers those is who I consider the average gamer right um, and then you have like you have tiers way above that as well so when you say the average, when I say that the, I think the average gamer plays more video games than than the people who are above in tiers above them, these people actually I would say that they come home, actually play right. They're actually playing this game, whether it's to get to a certain level, whether it's day by day. I'm gonna get I'm gonna be the chapter a day type deal. You know that's I would consider that playing video games more than like myself more than people who would rather watch video games being played than playing them themselves because there are people out there like that people out there that won't buy a game won't buy a video game but they'll watch somebody play it and then you know they'll get the experience from watching somebody playing it so yeah and rich rich brings up a good point he says hell yeah i just don't uh play a lot of them Mm -hmm. and due to the recent place i went uh there are people that play games and then there are gamers ah there is a solid difference and let me better frame this because this 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 is a pretty clickbaity title. Mm-hmm. Yes, people play video games. Everybody, I we there's probably people who are watching this and running Call of Duty right now as they're watching this. Oh, okay. Like I got a point to people that too. Run, So le, let's frame it outside of um outside of the daily login games. Out of outside of Call of Duty 2K. Yeah. Um, Destinies. Let let's let's step outside of that. Let that's why I brought in the medium. Okay. Even The Last of Us 2. Check this out. There was a crazy stat about The Last of Us 2. The Last of Us 2 had one of the highest completion rates on PlayStation in terms of trophies. Like, people who played it and beat it, it yeah. it had one of the highest. And I want to say it was less than 70%. But that, but why is that, though? If I had to put something towards that, it was because The Last of One was such a great game that the fan base, the fan base behind that game... Um, man, the, the fan base behind that game... 
stood strong behind it. I'm talking about people went out, bought it, bought the collector's editions during a pandemic. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it is what it is with that. But I, what I wanted to, to add on to your point was that I think when we when we say do people play video games, um, I, we're, we're saying outside of the mechanics because to you yeah. know you're me- mechanically you play a video game right that that is the mechanics yes. behind it but when we say play a video game i mean like uh, it's kind of hard to explain like back in the day where you used to sit down and you know side by side you know playing street fighter next to each other or, or king of the hill get off the sticks nba street like th- those takes me back to the days when i used to play video games sonic like being a gamer is, you know, that was what we used to call what we used to call it. So there is a difference. Like it, it's funny because I'm thinking, and I'm trying to bring it more to modern times. I'm thinking more of, um, like I know a lot of people, including myself, Red Dead Redemption Two. Mm-hmm. I played it. I haven't beaten it because I fell in love with hunting and doing all the side stuff. And then somebody ruined it and said, when you get to a certain part, you can't do certain things anymore. And I was like, oh, I'll just stay here wow. forever then. I'm not, um, I'm not going nowhere um so and then um i don't even want to say beating games but just really taking time because centering it around the medium a lot of people were talking mess like one guy he went viral for taking a screenshot was like oh i uninstalled this game is boring mm-hmm. but then somebody who played the game was like bro that's like five minutes in and he was getting dragged yeah all over the internet for it there's a lot of now, people me, like that there's a lot yes. of, of, of reviewers like that who do yeah, not go and this is the why the end of the game, they just play up until a certain point and then they gather the information from that, and then that's what they call the game. Bro, and let me tell you guys, as somebody who reviews games, I think I've reviewed up like six games at this point, maybe a little more. Um, it's it's a hard process because how does somebody who does not play video games actively tell other people about why this game is great or whack? Mm-hmm. And for me, I've actually had my first experience with a game where the game was, um, for me, I ne- I have good luck when it comes to games. I usually don't get the bad builds. Mm-hmm. Like when people are like, oh my God, the game crashes at this point and you can't do anything. I, up to this point, have never experienced that. Yeah, I've never experienced any major game-breaking bugs. Da, 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 da. I've never experienced these things. I've finally experienced it. And what made it worse, it was during a game I was reviewing. So I was under embargo, which means you can't talk about it, but now it's up and the article is up and all this. Um, I I was reviewing King's ta- uh, King Arthur A Knight's Tale. Mm-hmm. It's a turn-based RPG made by Neocore Games, the same people who did like Van Helsing, um, a bunch of games that you've seen on Game Pass and whatnot. Um, now, this game, I literally said, do not buy it as it is now. I literally told people do not like and it was weird it was hard for me to do that but i don't like bashing without criticism and or without constructive criticism and i are um um and things to fix it yeah so i went in there and i talked about how um the reason i'm telling you not to buy the game is not because it's not fun but because of some of the game breaking moments i experienced it would make you not want to play it anymore so Mm -hmm. then you'll spoil a situation of a potentially really good game yeah masked by problems that can be fixed with one or two updates Mm -hmm. so i say don't buy it now just like the reason i haven't bought um um baldur's gate 3 i haven't um i haven't bought it because it's one it's an early access and i don't want to play it so much in early access that when the full game comes out i want to run it yeah so but wrapping it back up because once again went off on a tangent folks when you when it comes to buying games outside of your big one, your big three that you're gonna buy regardless, like even me, I talk crap, but <laughs> I bought the last two <laughs> Call of Duties. Like the last two Call of Duties I bought. Um but, talking plenty of crap. What's up, Gabe? Hey, but but even thinking of that, and when you think about that, that those were probably moments where you were gaming, like where you were actually playing a video yeah. game. You know, because I, yeah. I don't consider Playing like once you start, once it becomes a a duty, like a job or or something into it, like you're not really playing a video game. You're playing to get to a point, whether it's to to complete it or you're playing to uh, um, to not miss out on something. Once again, we we spoke about FOMO earlier. Mm-hmm. Like that's not playing a video game. 
But when you think about Call of Duty, when you were jumping on and you were completing your guns and you were leveling up this, that, and the third, you weren't, you were actually playing the game, you know, whether you were streaming it or not. So in our space, yeah. if we can play a video game without streaming it, then damn, that kind of, I kind of contradicted myself. Shit. I kind of contradicted myself saying that because yeah. I'm, yeah. and maybe Tone can, maybe t- I know Tone was in here, but maybe Tone can agree. I played a shit ton of Destiny off stream, right? Yep. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there's other things to that, but maybe Tone could, hey, you could say that, can, can attest to that too. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon. I'm playing it off stream. I'm actually, so, yeah, kind of catch 22 there when you, when you, when you sit back and you think about it. So let me tell you, so, so going in with that, to make sure that I'm still gaming to, for the sake of gaming, to kind of fall in with the do people play games anymore, I play games off stream on purpose. I got games that I play that I refuse to stream. Ah, uh, Because it's yes. for me. Okay. It's for me. Okay. Like, I, I keep that separation. And Tone said, yup. Yeah, like, I keep that separation because I do not want gaming to become a job. Mm. I would love to make money gaming. Like, as, as stupid as it sounds. As nuanced as this is, I, as much as I would love for the gaming industry to be a part of how I feed my family, I do not want me to, oh, I got to log in. Yeah. Like, let me go clock in. Like, yeah. I do not want that experience. So that's why my Switch, I do not live stream any game I play on Switch. That's a good... I refuse was, to. I remember you telling me I've, that. I've turned down... I've turned down exclusive like reviewing opportunities and I've told the publishers like I don't play I don't stream um live stream and create content for my Switch games. That's for me. Like I know I, I apologize, thank you for the opportunity, but I do not. Yeah. Yeah, see, Tone says I play ESO off stream because that's my escape from life. Yeah, I refuse like I play Disgaea. Um, I play uh XCOM 2, even though I used to stream XCOM 2, but once it came out on Switch, no more. Mm-hmm. I play it on my Switch. Yeah. Like these are games that are for me. Like it, it's it's uh I need that. And then funny enough, rolling it in the console, because I've been in the state of wanting to actually beat and um dive into these games that I've missed out on and backlog. get through my backlog. Yeah, I've been playing yeah, I've been playing Death Stranding off stream and on stream. Okay. Um, like if like if, let's say I didn't plan on going like there's days where I had time to game and I won't go live because it's not my normal schedule. Yeah. Because once again, I want gaming to be I want to still keep gaming for me. That enjoyment. And um you can get caught up. Yeah, you can get caught up in this, man. Mm-hmm. Like I went through it. You can get really caught up in the whole uh well, oh man, this would have been great content. Oh, oh, oh. I'm like, look, bro. Yeah. This is it's bigger than that. But that's and also really the, ruin this for yourself. That's also the environment we live in too. Like we we live in an environment where every moment that you use every moment that you're playing a video game can be considered content. Whether it's relevant, irrelevant, yeah. good, bad, you know, bad audio, it can be considered some type of content. And that that type of mindset can get you far, but it can pull from the enjoyment of you playing video games. There's some people out here who have gotten to a point where they're bigger than video games. You can name a few off top. And once they've gotten to that point, it's like, all right, well, I'm not going to play it unless you're, you're paying me pretty much. And when you get to a point like that, like you've superseded like anything in this space. It's time for you to look for some some other things to do as well. This why do you think a yeah. lot of like gamers get into vlogging next? Yep. Like a lot of vloggers <laughs> started off gay as gamers and they got they got so big, they got so bigger than the game or the games that they played to where they needed something new and they became vloggers, they became uh content or content creators with cameras. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Hey, no, and and real talk, it, it's uh, it's it's funny because a lot of the stuff we're talking about more or less deals with people in the industry. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's funny because a part of me doesn't want to say I'm in the industry, but damn it, I've wrote over forty something articles 
I've done embargoed work. Um, you know, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but when I talk about this, I'm I'm talking from a perspective of guys. Yeah, but I'm little, in here and I'm seeing this shit. But even little, little, like, little to big, have or even big to little have seen something that relates to what we're talking about. You know, whether it was two people in yeah, your stream it, or two hundred thousand people yeah. in your stream, you have seen something in part in, the, in, in part of that realm. So you can't really. I don't really, it, it just was on different scales. It happened, the same exact thing, just different scales. Because somebody, you, even you got to a point where you didn't want to, you had to step back from it. And, I, and I walked you, away for a very long you time. You see what I'm saying? And it wasn't like, I, I wasn't, You, I mean, you will get there one day, but you weren't up in the industry to where you were untouchable. You know what I'm saying? Like, or you were yeah. bigger than everything, a, a part of what you were doing. You know, granted, the grind will get you there. But you were about to... Man. I think we got a couple comments. Oh, no. I was about to... Yeah, because Rich Rich put made a, made a good point, not to turn the top, uh, turn off topic, but you can say the same thing you feel about streaming and the importance of it uh, to social media in a whole. People feel like they have to advertise what they're doing, period. Mm -hmm. Like, um, and just enjoying this. I, there's... I, okay, um, I've, I've before by people I, I care and love, like they've been like, Oh, y'all don't do nothing. Like why? Cause you don't see me posting on social media. Yeah. I don't, I purposely don't post on social media. Yeah. Like on purpose because it, because then it starts turning into why did we do it? Yeah. Like I you did it to take like the that and then safety. I don't need everybody to know I'm outside my house. Yeah. Like, you, you know, that that's another thing for me. Like that's weird, but that's just a Real thing for it's, me. I don't need everybody knowing. No, 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 I'm not no, at no. home. See, once um, I, had to I had to tell somebody this. That's that is far from weird. We live in a we live in a, yeah. a, 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 a a time where a quick Google search and you can find any and everything you want. You know what I'm saying? So man, facts. To, to to be so to want to keep something you know separate from what you're doing in this industry yeah. is there is nothing wrong with that. Oh yeah. You know, there's there, there's people who've been on the internet for years and you've never seen their face. And they yep. they facts. purposely Big wanted facts. it like that. And whether it's because okay, I got kids or because I have a yeah. family or because listen, I want to keep my identity to myself. You can still yeah. enjoy this content um that I'm going to produce for you and to give you, but you just will never see my face. Let me keep something to me. And that that is that that really does correlate to to like social media. I, I purposely think of like Instagram because mm -hmm. I, I I remember like going out with friends and families and we 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 saying grace and people taking pictures. <laughs> people take yeah. people taking Word. pictures. That's crazy to me. And it's because it's they wild. they got to post it. They got to post any and everything that they see. And they're, you know, it's just the time we live in. And I'm not mad at it. I just, it's just something yeah, that I, I just know, have not done. You know, I don't. Yeah. And I, re, I don't want to conform to that. Like, it, it's because I, I really like to keep some things close to the chest because so much of me is on the internet. And maybe, maybe that's a, that's a, that plays a huge part of it is because I'm on the other end of it where to some extent I'm trying to do this in a professional stance that my writing my voice my my personality is so much of it is on the internet like us being on episode 74 and this ain't even really all the episodes this is just straight out core episodes we have over 74 hours of our face and voice on the internet that's just this that's not me counting that's not me counting um all the other podcasts that I've been on, that's not counting the almost 400 videos I put up on YouTube. That's not counting all the articles I've written, all the voice work I've done. That's not counting none of that. So, so much of me is already on the internet that there's a lot that I want to keep to myself. My fun time that I have with my family, I want to keep that to myself. Um, oh, you're, you're muted. I can't oh, hear my you. bad. You're, you've distinguished yeah. that. And I think that's cool because... Like I, I I can't say for me that I would ever like uh you know stick to the core values that I have now because you if you've paid attention to YouTube and to Twitch and to if you have your fa your favorite like uh, streamers or, and personalities on the internet um, that a, a lot of people have uh like changed changed how they've gone about things how they how they go about things so you may want to 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 change 
from a gaming standpoint to a vlogging standpoint, you know, and with that comes the territory. We were just talking about yeah. like rappers and, 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 and people in that space. Like, you know, when, when you're in that type of environment, you have to post everything. You yep. have to show stuff because if you don't, you're easily forgotten. And yep. um, that's just how it is. Unless, Whereas, unless you've already got your foot, like, like J. Cole recently just posted, like, it's looking like we're about to get another album soon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But, but, um, he don't have to post like an up and comer, whatever. No, he has to do. No, he don't have to. They, there, but there's, there's a, there's, but be okay before J. Cole is what he was, what he is now. J. Cole was somebody else before that. He was very active, exactly. So he you was can't, very active. so he did he the work, trendy stuff. He was doing, yeah, he, he yep. was wearing chains. He didn't have dreads, you know what I'm saying? So he yep. did the things he was supposed to do, got to that point and changed. And this and this is the 360 I'm talking about. Yep. You can do in any space, you can do that. Hey, and and you know what, bro? Um switching in cuz we're getting to the last like 10 15 minutes. Yeah. Um I want to s- uh switch to the sunk cost fallacy cuz what's funny about all of this that we talked about, now we're about to contradict a lot of it. Um and not not so maybe yeah it's gonna be a, a contradiction. Um, so for me, okay, go ahead, go ahead. So for for me, I have no problem putting things down. Yeah. I I I will I'll buy a battle pass for uh, Call of Duty, play it, and then all of a sudden something else will come out, and, and then uh, I get hooked on that something else, and I'll completely forget about the battle pass mm-hmm. I just bought. And that ten dollars was a wash. And I won't even hurt me. Not because of the little amount, but because I'm having fun with something else. Yeah. So I'll put that down. Um, I don't get caught up in the whole completely, well, I bought it. I need to stick to it and do I've it's funny because the reason I brought this all up, a guy did a video and he was talking about how somebody called him uh somebody said he has a lot of quit in him. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you know what? I love the way you put that. I absolutely do. Cause well, I'm not about to sit here and inform and let's let them know why he why he said that. He, so he said this around jobs. Uh, he put this in in, uh, in jobs and relationships. But I'm trying to get. I'm not trying to go into that. And oh I no no. I, into, I, I'm sorry. I was saying like because he remember he he said he had a lot of quit in him because he had finished. It took him like four schools. Was it a four oh, schools or eleven positive, years? Yeah, because it. Yeah. yeah, it took him. There you go. Four, four schools, schools in eleven years to in finish. order to finish his his degree. Yeah, and and somebody was like, "You sure got a lot of quit in you?" And I'm like, "You know what? If that's what it took for you to get into a place where you feel comfortable to get your accomplishment, by all means, it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint. Mm-hmm. Live your life. Don't be sitting here miserable. Could you imagine going to a school being absolutely freaking miserable?" And spending all this type of money, like some people, absolutely. I'll use USC for example. Yeah. Everybody, they want to go to USC, but then you get there and you're miserable. Yeah. Do you just stay for what? For what? And then that's where the sunk cost fallacy comes Kicks in. in yep. Well, I need to stay because I spent this money. Uh, hey, I need to. It, oh, li- well. Listen. So this that mindset does work with certain people. Now. It doesn't work for specifically me. Let me let me speak on me because yeah. if I'm not happy, I'm not happy. Oh man, Preach. if I'm not happy, I'm not happy. Nothing's gonna change that. I don't care how much money I spent on it. Man, I don't care. And and this this took me a while to to get to this point because I used to, I think about that with video games. So this is where you were saying the contradiction yep. comes in comes into play. Yeah, I think about that with video games too and. The, the first time I had to walk away from bringing back up Destiny, first time I had to walk away from Destiny, I walked away and I didn't care. I didn't care that I paid for the year, the annual pass. I didn't care that I was missing out on all of this other act, all of these other activities. I, I just didn't care. And if I'm not happy or I'm not enjoying myself, I'm not happy. And that's it. So I don't care what no no one should should look at that look at it that way. Or I believe no one yeah. should look at it that way. But if you do, I can understand it. I can understand yeah. saying, going back to the USC thing, 
my my whether it's myself or my parents or whoever pay for me to go to this school. They put this amount of money up, whether it was their last, whether they got more to give, you know, maybe the, 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 you know, the equally, the, the thing I can do is to complete it and you complete yeah. it, whether you are happy or not, you know, you felt like you can, compl- you, you accomplished something because somebody gave you, gave you an opportunity to do it. And I'm, I'm hoping that's how you're looking at it. But for me, hey. If yeah. I'm not happy, I'm not happy. Bro, I'm out of here. And Look, I can... my mother will tell you, I, I'm quick to be like, no, nah, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, but that it, bothers it's, people it's so... too. Oh, it irks people to their core, mm-hmm. bro. They look at me like I'm nuts. I'm like, nah, this is stupid. Yeah. I don't want to do this. No more. It bothers people. I, look, put it put it this way: I'm in the same company, and I've I've jumped through three different departments. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I said, if it gets shaky enough, I'll go to Jan- custodial. Like, no no disrespect to custodial services, because if you've been to a job site that doesn't have a good custodial service, oh, you'll miss them, um, which I, I've seen it. God bless custodial workers. Angels. Angels. I believe that one um, <laughs> Right? Yeah. But no, but, but like, real talk. So, now, rolling it back to games, because I ain't trying to get all into the work and, like, life. real life outside of that. Yeah, yeah. But but with the, with the gaming, so like, for example, with uh, Cyberpunk 2077, I was absolutely having a good time playing it. Mm-hmm. I was playing it on the Xbox uh, One S, mm-hmm. the um, the the mid tier newer re- the what did they call it? The second boot, yeah, the second uh, the, uh, version the, of the the last generation. Yeah. So I'm not playing it on the Xbox One X or a Series X or a Series S, which means I'm playing it on an older console. I was I was having a few graphical issues like some loading popping this and that but nothing game breaking but then there was a couple of uh patches that came out that caused some game breaking situations and I put the game down full stop immediate from where I was saved it put it down did not touch it again yeah um and the, and the reason I did that was because um I don't want to ruin the experience for myself and I'd rather put it on ice until everything is set like the game would have been better to release next month. It's funny. There was a there was a chance that the game was supposed to release next month. Yeah. And it should have. A hundred percent it should have. If you've been following um, the news. Man, I've been following it for years. It should have released. But now I don't want to sit here and bash Cyberpunk, but that was just an example. But then flipping it to another end, um, there was a game that I bought. No, no, uh, but it was you, a, you should you should oh, stick to with Cyberpunk because it actually fits. This is this is just the flip of the coin for it. You enjoyed the game. Yeah, I had fun. Like that's I it. Have no there, major. There's, there's yeah. nothing more to that. I enjoyed the game. Yeah. If you gave, if you rated the game ten out of ten, you rated the game ten out of ten because yeah, you, you like the game. And yeah. Now, now also real talk, I'd I'd give it a seven. I'd give it a seven. Okay. Like if I if I had to do a full review, if I was reviewing the game right now today, I'd give cyberpunk a seven but yeah. that's based on my experience mm-hmm. now funny enough if i was playing it on pc i might have gave it an eight yeah because oh, on pc graphically it looks better and i heard there's a lot less problems okay but me playing it on an old school xbox um actually on some real stuff taken into some of the nuance I, i'd low-key give it a six because the game was originally built for these consoles and it's not working well on these consoles and the- which means you played me yeah, so all right, th- this is the point where we leave Cyberpunk alone because, you know, it, it, yeah. it's about to come. Yeah, down. now I'm bashing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm, now look, now I'm getting hot. Like, I don't <laughs> yeah, like I, being played. I literally start sweating um, a little bit because I was like, "Ooh, wait, he just said it." <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, like I'm, I'm going, I'm going off. Mm-hmm. But no, so now moving back into um, what other examples of the fallacy, man? Like, okay, oh, the better one. I stopped buying. Uh, I stopped buying 2K. Year a year after year. Okay, we we did discuss that. I I I bought a two K. I believe it was two K sixteen. I was missing open layups in single player career mode. Mm-hmm. I immediately took it back. <laughs> I lost money, folks. To tell you how serious I am about this, I lost money because I paid full price for the game. Took it to GameStop, knowing I wasn't gonna get nothing for it. Took it and traded it in to buy the year before. <laughs> real talk. He said, "Real he talk." The open layup, and he shut it all down. He brought it all the way back. I was like, "Oh no!" Because that, because that, 
that's what like no first off i enjoy technicality in games mm -hmm. like i'm i'm the type of guy who'll play who prefers battlefield over call of duty yeah like i'm being 100 percent honest i prefer call it uh battlefield over call of duty um i play more call of duty because it's got modern weapons right now but as soon as battlefield brings out a modern weapon game it's over um but that's a good question okay all right yeah do you think battlefield should be an annual game no you don't absolutely not battlefield no. 5 has been running for over three years and it's still running strong like oh. i hop on there and it looks gorgeous and it runs great I yeah. just, I'm just sick of World War Two and World War One. Like, I'm absolutely, I don't ever want to see another World War Two game, and I know we're gonna get it. They're gonna retro like, I think, shit. I think World War Two and World War One games should really be pushed to a point of being like PC, like Steam niche stuff. Yeah, that's how many games we've made for that. Like, Man. let it, let it go there, and Man let it said become I'm dead. a PC Steam niche thing. <laughs> like, yeah, no, real, hey, real talk, man. It's... Hey, Brian, believe me when I tell you. Because I play 2K. Yeah. Like, I talk a lot of crap about the big three, but I play 2K. I don't play FIFA as much, but I you, I have 2K20 installed on my PlayStation right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I run 2K. Yeah. I don't stream it because I'm trash at it, and I don't play um, I don't play the meta. Like, I don't hit the court. I've never played the court. Yeah. Never. That does not interest me at all. The, Nothing about that scene. cussing you out, you out here missing open layups. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, people, thank you. Thank you. Like, I'm not about to be you. out here fighting folk <laughs> over the internet. Like, bro, you're trash getting messages. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, I getting picked up. Nobody want to run with me. Like, bro, if I wanted to struggle like this, I'd go to the real court. <laughs> like, like, this is a damn game. That's like, you, you're not about to get me like this. Man. Like, hey, no. So, so knowing that, if I'm in the one mode that I want to play the game, and I'm not running it on, uh, I forgot what the the top NBA mode is called um, on uh, no, it's not even professional. I think professional is mid. Uh, Did, I think it's Hall of Famer. If I'm not running oh, it on, yeah, yeah if I'm not running it on Hall of Fame and I'm missing open layups. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. I was like, nah, this is trash. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't blame your controller. You should have been, <laughs> you should have switched controller. He said, <laughs> He said you haven't lived life until you get yelled at by a 16 year old for missing shots on 2K. I'm good, bro. I'm never doing that. I, I work 40 hours a week. Um, I'm not about to be sitting here getting yelled out, yelled at because my kid said something to me and I looked away while midway shooting a jumper. Like, Ooh, I'm not. The, hey, that nah. can, the, hey, that hat that can happen in a lot of different video games, too. I yeah. think two, 2K yeah. though is just more living because it's like. We need you for this amount of time. There's 21 points we need you. Whereas, like, we need e you. imagine doing that. And it's only three of us on the court. Bruh, like, e we need you. Imagine playing in a in a money match. You're playing in a money Ooh. match game battles, and Ooh. the dude has to disconnect because his mom told him he has to get off. Ooh. Hey, bro, shout out to Poppy Solo. He's a dope uh, 2K player. I think he's going to make the league this year or okay. next year. He's he's doing big things. The guy's solid. Real yeah. good guy. Um, he, uh, he'd be doing like crazy, like thousand dollar money matches and stuff. Like, yeah. like, or at least I seen him. I don't know if he near, uh, sh shout casted one or he was a part of it, but he'd be talking big money yeah. and I'm, I'm like, nah, I'm good. Nope. 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 Cause I'm... it's my luck. The wind will blow in my, uh, my power line is a uh, waggle and then the internet of the delay and then it's over and I'm kicked mm -hmm. like, nope. Or, I'm or good, imagine but no, bro. You see that, like that, man. Imagine no. you're in a raid, you're at the boss, you're doing damage, and, and somebody has to go help their mom with groceries, Bruh. Okay, so I was just I was just talking to the homie Hustle. Shout out to Hustle and Motivate. Um, I was just talking to the homie Hustle, and he, I explained to him why I don't run raids. Mm -hmm. Because I told him, I was like, bro, my first serious time at a raid, I spent almost four hours in there, and we still didn't finish because we couldn't find somebody to help us with the last leg. Uh -huh. Because we were doing callus, remember? And oh, we didn't shit. finish. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We didn't finish, and I was like, this ain't for me. Because you're telling me, <laughs> like, I'm at, like my, my average stream time, my average stream time on a good day is, is three hours. Mm-hmm. On a, that's me like feeling spry, yeah. active, ready. 
that's three hours. So you telling me we spent four hours in this one area? Okay. And then we got to the end and couldn't even finish. And then it was a wash. Didn't get no loot. <laughs> Didn't get no nothing. <laughs> hey, I'm not built for that. You know what makes I'm that, not built for you that. You know what makes that so funny is three hours ain't nothing. Three hours is nothing. Nothing. That, that's nothing. That's like and so, two encounters on a fresh team. Bro. Bro. So <laughs> let me break it down optimized. even further. Let me break it down even further. So I watched some dudes. Uh, so uh, once again, I'm shouting out a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. The Iron Lords. These dudes, they got a dope podcast. And we actually got to link up with them because they're heavy on Destiny. So yeah. if you're tired of your clan, I'll I'll work. to. We'll get you in there. And these dudes, they run raids daily. They're just, they got raids running constantly. Um, so these dudes with the Iron Lords, I, they put up a screenshot. Uh, and he literally, it was... Four, it was like a three hour and something completion time, 750 killed uh, enemies. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, no. <laughs> That's too much. I seen that, and my body was like, no, I don't want no parts of that. There's yeah. nothing in that raid I want that bad. That That is that is nothing compared to like, like that, like those times are like better times. Like everybody professionals like rushing like not, yeah, no, they no, 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 no. Let's not 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 professionals, but more like like okay, this is our team. We play this on the daily. We're not super duper uber good, but we, we're good enough to play. Three hours and some change, uh -huh. that's cool. Because there's professionals out there, I call them professionals, that that a beat that same raid it took four hours for you to complete in twelve minutes. Right? And are you that, kidding me? Yes. These dudes got world records on these raids. Two man, three man in these raids. Because once again, they put the time in, they put the effort, they figure it out, blah, blah. This this shout out to all the people out there that play Mario and, and remember all the movements, all the jumps, how oh, fast, how God. much to hold the controller, how less to hold oh, the controller. Oh, you know, God. I That's watched the dude. Rant. Excuse me, I'm going on the rant now. I watched the dude beat one of the raids. With the rock band guitar set. And you can't beat it. And it's taking me four hours. He beat it solo by himself with the rock band guitar set. You know how do you, how, <laughs> do you know stuff? Do do you know stuff like that is why I don't play Animal Crossing anymore? <laughs> because I, I thought my house was cool. I thought my whole shit was tight. I thought my shit was real John Blaze. <laughs> And I went on Twitter and somebody had all my favorite albums yeah. on their wall. I was like, I didn't even know you could add albums. I was like, how the fuck did you design this in this world? And yes. you over here got uh Naruto outfits and your whole your whole island looked like the hidden league village. <laughs> and then you go into your house and you got place. MF Doom posters <laughs> and all this shit. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, yeah, I'm not playing this game. Anymore. <laughs> and I <I'll>, like <laughs> Like I had to when it comes to certain games, like I'll I'll play like Stardew Valley and stuff. Obviously. I had to literally stay off social media because I was like, I'm gonna play it my way. Fuck what your house look like. My shit's my shit. Like you start, no, hey, no. that fault, bro, bro. Nope, nope. Listen, nope. Uh, th what makes that so funny is is that that <laughs> that it it no, okay. So going back to when I used to play Metal Gear Solid Four, and you watched me beat, you watched me destroy that game. He was like, I still not, haven't played it to I'm this day. I'm not buying that game. <laughs> I'm not playing that game. Did you see what you And just I'm did? a Metal Gear Solid fan. He was like, Oh, you got all you got all the camos? I'm not playing this game. <laughs> I'm not playing I'm not this playing game. it. And yeah. what, what makes like I said, what makes it so funny is that we think we think, oh, four hours, five hundred, that's a lot. I'm not doing that. When there's people out here taking twelve. the longest I've ever been in a raid was like fourteen hours. 14 hours. I had no I had one child at the time. I had, I had one child at the time. I had a supporting wife. She was a little bit upset at me that night. 14 hours. When I got out now of my me, seat, it was sunlight <laughs> coming outside. I now had let me work be real in a with few. You. <laughs> let me be real with you. I'm not against that. No. I just course. know now that 14 hours is literally almost two Resident Evil games. <laughs> 14 hours into a raid 
And I probably didn't. Uh, yeah. Hey, Matt, it was 14 hours. Go back and add. If, if you don't believe me, ask X, Dun, X and Dunn was in there. And they both left. And literally, we ended up getting like a whole nother team and beating it. Like, right, right, we literally got some people off the internet that jumped in and we beat it. I was in there for 14 hours. And we beat the raid. This is on Destiny 1. The, that is out. Outrageous now. Right now, I ain't doing that now. So, yeah. but the thing is, with once again, when you play these games so much, you'll naturally get better at them. We're talking about fresh people who aren't optimized, and, and that's another thing too. When you when you're jumping into end game content like that, you have to be optimized for it. You can't just jump in. Ie, with any gun, any yeah, outfit, exactly, any, yeah. and thinking that you're gonna be superb at it. You're not. So. Yeah, but no, yeah. I just I find that hilarious because I'm like, yeah, like I, I do remember that night. It was like, yeah, it's like four hours. That is a streaming session, but also it's like ah, that ain't nothing. That's a quarter. That's that was not even nothing. A quarter of some and no, of this and that's worse. I've been in, and that, and that's why for me, like it, it's a you know, all in all, folks, the whole point of this because we, we're over time and I want to go to bed. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Um. We we made sure to do this stream this actually this really turned out into a really good topic. We made sure to do this because Brian, because Samuel called us out yeah, on our personal out, lines you and was like, saying? oh, consistency. Yeah, he was like, oh, I thought we was being consistent. Disrespect. Yeah. Disrespect. Um, so that, this one's for you. If you wouldn't have showed up, I would have definitely uh, blew up your inbox. Oh yeah, I would have been um, calling you. You know what I'm saying? You know, messages. Yeah. Um, all that. But at the end of the day, folks, take some time out. Uh, especially if you're a Game Pass owner or even a PlayStation Now owner, play Ooh. some of those one-time experience games. We, like, we, really, we didn't really get, get a out there. To talk about Game Pass. So we'll do that next week. Um, okay, which the medium was kind of the whole Game Pass thing, but we, we can't get more into it. We'll, yeah, we'll actually it was, do a full it, Game Pass. Yeah, we had a whole week. topic. Let me write it down before I forget because, you know, that happens. <laughs> Let me write it oh, down. Oh, I'm getting but, yeah. calls. Hold on. Uh-oh. <laughs> my bad guys yeah it's time for me to go yeah um folks make sure to check out all the links all the links uh we're gonna be dropping uh youtube.com forward slash baron j67 uh youtube.com adventures of the black nerds uh forward slash adventures of black nerds youtube.com uh forward slash xt jones right yes xt jones jones everything um everywhere. Yeah, and then uh uh spreaker.com tone def uh tone def network tone and uh tone def network.com, right? If I'm not mistaken, I don't want to yeah. Um Let me tone, verify that. Here, please drop the link. I don't want to yeah, I don't want to give out the wrong link. And folks, just just make sure and follow us, like, comment and share cuz when you guys do that, it helps us with the algorithm, helps us get bigger, makes us look more popular than we actually are. Um, shout out to you, David. Shout out to you, Brian. Uh, Rich, you guys, man, thank you guys for adding to the conversation. Tone, Juan, like, uh, all you guys, man, because that stuff it means something. We really appreciate you guys taking the time to sit and listen to us talk and about nothing. No, but, <laughs> but um, I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones. Much love. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next week. Peace, you guys. <laughs>